I'm Perry Mudley, the acting CEO for Durban Tourism, which is the tourism authority of the municipality of the city of Durban. Perry, as one of the leading lights of South Africa travel and tourism and a, and, and a veteran of this show, how would you describe the mood this year compared to previous years? I think this year has been better than last year in the sense that because of 2010, there's a great interest from a lot of the exhibitors and some of the delegates that have come, uh, especially from uh, overseas. We, although we don't have a, a true representation from the rest of Africa, I still think that it's got potential to grow. I think as an independent observer, the, obviously there's dark storm clouds on the horizon, there's economic downturn, we know all about that. But obviously with the value of the RANDs, uh, the beauty that South Africa has, uh, um, uh, but more importantly the real, uh, uh, the people, the personality, the vibrancy. There's a real sense of optimism and opportunity here in the marketplace. You know, all you have to do is just go into a, a, a suburban area uh, where we have indigenous people from our country talking about this event. And you'll be surprised how much they know about the event. So uh, as far as the event is concerned, the, the happening of the event in our city is just not an, an event. It is about bringing people together. It's about mobilizing people to unite and to host the world when they come to our event. Okay, let's, let's talk about a little event that's happening uh, next summer here in South Africa. We have, um, I think, less than 15 months to go before the opening match of the FIFA World Cup. Is Africa ready? Africa will be ready because there's a commitment and a passion to make sure that we showcase what we have as a, as, a, as, a, as a continent, but rather as a continent, as a country, and Durban as a host city to show what we're capable of doing. You know, we have staged many, many international events of world stature. We've hosted the Commonwealth Heads of State. We've had the World Conference Against Racism. I think from, I can only speak from a city perspective because my experience has been from the city of Durban. We've hosted events of more than 25 to 30,000 people. We have the, the Durban Beach Festival and, and for an 11-day period of the June holidays. And only in Durban during winter you can swim in our beaches. In those events, we've hosted over a 10-day period 590,000 people. So a fan park that we're thinking of creating on the beach is going to be seeing between 80 and 120,000 people, which is far less than what we've handled previously. So we are quite confident that come 2010, the 11th, 10th of June, we'll be ready. Besides the football, um, the World Cup and indeed the Confederations Cup is really a showcase to show what Africa can really do. It's, it's probably the best marketing platform you're ever going to have and PR platform to the world. Can you talk a little bit about the, the new developments, the infrastructure that's been put in place in Durban? Well, you know, I don't know if you're aware, but we are building a brand new stadium which can seat 80,000 uh, spectators and it's going to have an arch that's going to be 106 meters up in the sky and it'll be a major tourist attraction. It's going to have a viewing deck on the top. You'll be, you can go up by cable car or you can, if, you've got to, if you're brave enough, you can walk up the stairs. That's just one part of, uh, and specifically built for 2010. But you know, that's going to be a people's park. It's just not about football only. It's going to be, uh, it's going to have a high performance spot center. It's going to have like an academy. There's going to be a people's park where it's going to be open. The precinct from the stadium to the beaches are going to be open so that you can decide to go and have a swim can watch a soccer match, play tennis, and have a picnic. So it's obvious that you've done lots of, uh, lots of thinking. You've got a legacy plan in place. Obviously, the World Cup lasts for four weeks next June. But afterwards, the 400,000 people will leave South Africa. But there has to be a legacy plan in place. Yes. Well, the, the legacy is not only about concrete and, and uh, big buildings. The legacy is about the experience that our people in South Africa would have had having touched the lives of so many people across the world with one event. And you know, the African people are very warm people. We are African. We are people of the soil. And that'll, that's going to come out when we actually welcome the world to our city. Okay, Perry, in closing, if you have one message for the travel agents, the meeting planners, the business travel buyers around the world watching this interview now, what would that one message be? The message is that, you know, as a, as a country, there are many hidden treasures. And all you've got to do is just click onto the various websites and you'll be, you, you won't have the time to visit everything that is available and you'll have to come back year after year to experience South Africa. Perry, thanks for the time and, and good luck to you. Thank you very much.